Now, ladies and gentlemen, we spell Sonia, S-O-N-I-A. She is sincere, outspoken, nurturing, insightful, and ascending. Ladies and gentlemen, she talks about sex. Ladies and gentlemen, she is a health speaker. Ladies and gentlemen, she earned her PhD in human sexuality, certified by the American College of Sexologists. She has appeared on Good Morning San Diego and the Disney Channel. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand to your feet and welcome the foremost authority on human sexuality today. Put your hands together for Dr. Sonia. Hi, my name is Dr. Sonia Borge, clinical sexologist. My program, Sex, Let's Talk About It, is not your typical talk on sex. You never had a conversation like this before. It is a straightforward talk on sexual health, safety, and awareness. My objective is to give college students sound information so they can feel empowered to make their own decisions. According to the Association of American Colleges, only 29% of college students actually said that they used a condom during their last sexual interaction. And when you get a 29% on a test, what letter grade is that? Yes. That's right, it's an F. You guys all know that. You are in unison. <laughs> That's right, it's an F. American colleges and universities are failing. They are failing to teach students about their health. And everyone has the right to that information. Because this is not a moral, a moral issue, it's a health issue. We are definitely going to bring her back. We're going to make her a part of our orientation program. The reason I talk about sex is because not talking about it almost cost me my life. And the fact that students would rather risk their health and talk about sex has inspired me to create this program. This is the first time that I was able to sit through a sex talk without feeling embarrassed. It was so informative. Dr. Borge was funny and explained it in a way that really made sense. Anyone can pass out condoms at the health center. But what I know about human behavior is that we are more likely to take action if we are emotionally involved. So I use my own personal story, powerful statistics, multimedia, and a lot of tasteful comedy and humor. I make sure that the information is accurate, funny, entertaining, and real. Everyone should be carrying a condom. Yeah. Woo! $50 to the first person to come up here. Ooh, extra large. <laughs> The number one reason students don't use a condom is not because they don't know any better, but because they don't know how to talk about sex. They don't know how to introduce the topic. So I offer different phrases on the different ways that they can communicate their own value-based message. And we even practice these conversations in the program. It's a lot of fun. One, two, three. Yeah. Good. Now, there are benefits to sex. According to researchers, men who have at least five ejaculations per week, anyone, have a significantly lower rate of prostate cancer later in life. One pull a day keeps the doctor away. She was real. When I come to your campus, I offer ideas for an entire sexual health and awareness program. I'm available to meet with counselors, Greeks, nurses, and athletes. And I also offer other programs in relationships and sexpert leadership training. Every student needs to see this. Yeah.